everybody. Hi, and welcome to Sleepover at Todd's slash Campfire. Um, I like that music in the background. We broke the whole night up into different segments. Some of it is with Tommy Chong, some of it's by the fire pit, some of it's us all going to bed. This first segment is called Waiting for Rory, Jordan, and Blake. And uh, there you go. Now, Katie just put microphones all over the place. So sometimes we forget we're doing a podcast and we all talk over each other. But just be patient with us. We don't do it that much, but we do it. We do do it. And uh, because it's some of it's outside and... You can hear some microphone adjustments here and there, but just be patient. It was that type of show. (laughs) I still like that music in the background. So here it is, segment one, waiting for Rory, Jordan, and Blake. Here we are. So we're waiting for Rory and Jordan to get here, and then I I always feel I say his name wrong, Tommy Chong, right? Yeah. Tommy Chong. Which, uh... He uh, he has the same somebody that knows him knows me and he said we were camping out. He said that the Todd Glass is camping out for their one year anniversary. So uh, he thought it would be fun to stop by. So he'll come by. Hopefully, have some good stuff if you know what I mean. Is this an anniversary show? This is the one year anniversary show. No, we haven't started yet. This is just the little pre thing. Oh, okay. Getting people, uh, you know, I don't know. I just feel we're in the moment. Eric's in the other room making up a coffee. People probably can hear that we're not camping since Eric's rummaging through the refrigerator. Yeah, can you make more noise in there? <laughs> can you so, can you use more electronic appliances? Yeah, yeah. Can you maybe uh, maybe you can pull out a, an old uh, ticker tape machine? Please. Boop boop boop. Whatever that is. All right. Make make sure you put that down. Make as much noise as you possibly can, Eric. Right. So everyone, I think uh, uh, Chris just got high and ate a half a loaf of bread dipped in butter. I, I'm not joking around. I'm like everybody. We have a show to do. So here's what happened. I didn't get that high. So first we hold on. First we were gonna camp. I don't know if we should we should wait for Rory to talk. We were gonna camp and then here's what happened. Maybe I should wait for Rory to talk about all of this. Well, no, this counts. We, all right, you know what? That's what we'll do. We don't need Rory to have fun. <laughs> Talk about it right now. Yeah, this Rory thinks he's got it. He yeah. thinks he's got oh, us by the God balls. God forbid he found out we waited for him oh, to talk yeah. about it. <laughs> All right, so I guess this could be a little. We'll 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 mark this. You done? Shh, that's not my Shh. stuff. That was the sausages. Oh Jesus! So we'll talk about it. We are gonna we are gonna have a sleepover. It might be outside depending on how hot it is, but I'm not gonna sweat my ass off. But if not, I moved all the furniture out of the living room. We'll take a picture. And we're going to get sleeping bags and sleep all over. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, either way, we're either going to all sleep outside. I think we should all sleep outside regardless and make and live the experience. If all right, it's well, hottest shit, then it'll be hot. Yeah, for you. We'll for you. Yeah, Mikey was going to I won't enjoy myself. I like to go through life enjoying myself, proving nothing. I have nothing to prove except that I want to be comfortable. I don't feel, I don't get any bonus points by going, but you roughed it. No. Well, what about all the content you're going to get out of being miserable and talking about it? And- no, no, I'd rather not have it. If that's what it takes to make this show a hit, then I don't want it. If I have to be uncomfortable, be successful. No, no, don't get, me, don't get me wrong. I'm all for the experience of everybody sleeping in the same room. That's going to be, be a, the most fun part of this night is. Does anyone snore? I don't anymore, I've heard. I don't think I do anymore. Um, Can I so, tell the story by you snoring? Uh, oh, oh, oh you well, you'll, you we'll tell that later. With you and Jimmy Dore? Yeah. In, in the hotel room? Yeah. And, uh, uh, so, uh, hold on. So, this has gone on way too long. This was supposed to just be a little intro. So, now it's called, this segment was called Waiting for Rory and Jordan and Tommy Chong. Is there anybody else? Oh, Blake Wexler's not even here yet. Is he coming? Yeah. Sweet. All right, there we go. When, when you hear from us next, and we're going to, the way we're going to do tonight is there's going to be segments. Like this was a segment. And then when Rory gets here, we'll do a segment. Then we're going to move, Katie made it so we can move this recording stuff in a minute. Then we'll move it all out to the campfire later tonight. Then we'll make a decision. Are we all going to sleep outside or are we going to sleep all over the living room and dining room? But to be continued. I know how to tease these motherfuckers, right? Turn that off. They didn't get that, did they? Hey everybody, you like that music in the background? Well, this is part two. This part is called Rory, Jordan, and Blake Showed Up. 
So here we go. All right, Rory's here. Um, now we're we're just uh, we're still in the living room. Maybe Mikey can take pictures. So here's what I did. I turned every light out in the house. It's pitch dark in here. I figured if we're starting inside, I know everyone's going. They're not even camping. We're not. I well, think yeah, we not yet. Are. Not yet. But we are. Our goal is, as we talked about in the last segment. Now Rory's here. Is to end. We will end up by the campfire. That's our next move outside by the campfire. By the way, tonight, talk about being... I don't think I'm crazy. My neighbors have big spotlights I noticed last night. Mm-hmm. And I wanted the backyard to be pitch dark tonight. Yeah. So they turned them off for me. So well, that's when we nice. go back out there, it'll be pitch dark. And then we're probably sleeping outside. We're sloppy, sleeping outside. Slopping. And he'll take a picture of where we're all going to do it. I have like a four-car garage. They're more like barns. And I, two of them, I took everything out of. They're completely empty. Yeah. And we're going to just all... It's, in camping, it's like a lean-to. That's like an open-end cabin, so that's the way I'm looking at it. And we'll just have air mattresses all over that thing. That's going to be my favorite part of the. You podcast. have air mattresses? I love it. Well, some people do. You think some? You think that's the sound of Daniel room? realizing how uncomfortable he's going to be tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you you have air mattresses? Wait, yes, wait, wait, wait. You guys brought an air mattress? Yeah. Sure. yeah. So what did Eric. So did. Twin. Did you bring one? I have some. I have some other stuff for people that don't have it. Eric, you have a you Eric. have a queen. Uh, we could fit three. What's listen to Ray, this? That's ambitious. Do you hear that? Wait, someone's here. No, no, you can open that up. Who is at the door? Oh, Black oh, Black 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 Black. <laughs> Yeah, well, of course. Wait a second. Wait, hold, wait, on, wait, hold, wait, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, Daniel, you didn't expect anyone to bring. We brought yeah. a lot of shit. Wait, Daniel. Air mattress. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The, hold on. the <laughs> kicker and an air mattress. Guys, we can still. <laughs> Guys, we, we can still only one, we try, gotta try to have one person talk. You know what that sounded like to the listener? Okay. It sounded exactly like this. Okay, so let's not do that to them again. Uh, now, I'm not, I swear to God, I we swear can't be to loud God. If that's gonna happen. Thank God we have a safe word. I swear to God. We're not, pl- tell the l- listening audience, are we playing that? No. We're you not. swear to God? I swear to, I swear to God. God, I'm kind of scared. Do you I, live near a train track? What is that? And Michael Vick? <laughs> you live near Michael Vick? Do we live near train tracks? Yeah. Do you live near train tracks? We do if Chris has train track noise. <laughs> uh, but, but that's funny because we thought about getting train track noise. Did you know that? Oh, no, I just heard it in the back of that. It just sounded like a train in the distance. Rory, how funny would that be? You know, what we were just joking about? That's hey, if that's a crime, then lock me up. What if you said that about, about an actual crime? Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you get arrested, if, if, if hey. murdering thirty people is a crime, then I don't want to. Uh, lock me up. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. Then lock me up. We are. We're going to. You know what? If if, if getting a little, if, if the guy behind me at the gym was annoying me, if taking a gun out and shooting him in the head is a, is a crime. Well then, lock me up. Your lawyer, your lawyer is like, shut Todd, shut the fuck no, up. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to testify. No, no, you no, don't. you don't. You don't no. know what crimes. Let me tell are. you something. If you breaking into a store, if breaking into a store and taking every red cent they have is robbing them, th- then then I rob stores. <laughs> then I don't want freedom. <laughs> Then I, don't, then I don't want freedom. So is that a confession? You did I'm do it? I'm just saying, if breaking in that guy's store and taking everything he had is wrong, then I don't want to be right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's off to a good start, people. This is off to a good start. So let's go back to calmly and deal with what happened. So now we know where we're at. We're, uh, everybody knows. I don't got to repeat it. So Blake comes in. In all fairness, now, Daniel, we're going to tease you. You got to, I want, yeah, I want yeah. to know. I know it's and, and everybody's told they're sleeping over. Now, I'm not making fun of you for not bringing anything. because I brought a sleeping bag. And I, but, you know, I can throw you a pillow. You, yes. you, there's some mattresses outside in the thing. We can, the outdoor yes. mattresses. We, you, can, you yes. have something. Yes. So you're covered. But what I think is funny is that when Blake, is it Wexler? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when Blake Wexler came in with his sleeping bag and a pillow, you went, you brought a pillow? Yes. You think that's odd? I thought, yes. I, I'm, no, I don't think it's odd that he brought a pillow, but the image of Blake just walking in there holding the pillow. and, the, and But that's and the best in image the in the world, and I know you know that. Yeah, but I wasn't like, yeah, I guess I was making fun of him. Yeah, you, you, but you, you know literally like, did the I, little kid thing and you pointed. You went, ah, <laughs> stiff arm out, finger out. 
<laughs> Does everyone listening know? Stiff arm, stiff finger, and you're going and pointing at the person. You, oh, I me. hope you had your me. finger out. It's to weird me. if you were like, you have a pillow. <laughs> He's holding a fist up. He's holding a fist up. Imagine if you looked at someone and went, what are you doing here with a fist? <laughs> like immediately feels threatened. Like, Jesus, Wait a second. I think that's called Nazi Germany, isn't it? <laughs> no, mark that down. Um, but, but no, you know, if someone you know, doesn't know, I'm kidding about but, that. But you know my whole thing about like people... It drives me nuts, like when I see people bringing pillows on airplanes. But, but, but let's not merge the two together. The, I told the people... The image was very close. It's just Blake holding my oh, stuff okay. and I a get pillow. It. I get it. But okay. you do get it. It's funny. Yes, of course. Can but I also, he's, he's Can prepared. Can I intervene and defend sure, Daniel it's not intervening. as a lawyer? Can I say something? It's what? not intervening. It's inner, inner funny. It's inner funny. Hey, if you're making fun of people who are prudent and make good decisions is being an asshole, then I don't want to be a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. No, Daniel, you're an asshole. All right, I, go ahead. I, uh, defending Daniel, I think what happened there was just quick visual memory of the people with a pillow on a plane. It is hard to remember that we are adults who are about to camp out tonight. <laughs> so I'm sure Daniel's immediate reaction is like, why the fuck do you have a pillow? He, even his head was like, oh yeah, you're camping. You know what, I get it. I get it. Uh. Hey, if not getting it makes me. <laughs> All right, let me let me get. I, you know what? I'm, I I am going to do a little traditional thing here, which I didn't think I was going to do, even you have though to I haven't prepared some stuff. Mike, are you getting some good pictures? Oh yeah. Hey, we got some stuff. Uh, we'll talk about it from from a winery, but I'll talk about it on the opening of the show. But they sent us a really nice letter. That's not a train. <laughs> Chris, if you have to tell us what it is, it's probably not that Here's great. Here's Chris. The, the guy plays sound effects, and he looks at me. It's a train. <laughs> it's like the bad sound effects That's guy. He pass. goes, and then I open the... It's a car door. <laughs> People don't know his sound effects anymore, so every time he does something... And all in the background, it was... Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. My, the old-timey horn. My, Michael Winslow. Like, yeah. during, like His career now is just... I don't know why I'm yelling. So let me go through a few things. Josh Trey, we are still going to do your bit. That's the bit on the Home Shoppers bit. We've, we've talked, told him nine times we're going to do it. Maybe it's like our Jimmy Kimmel. We never with, get to it, Matt we, Damon. We never get to Matt Damon thing, accidentally. Lincoln. Lincoln listens to the show. He's driving his black Subaru, about ready to head down La Cienica Boulevard. Shut the fuck up. How do I know that, Lincoln? That's right, motherfucker. That will happen. He is. What do you think? If you were driving the car, your car, I don't know what we're talking about. There's a guy Lincoln who listens to the show and he drives a black Subaru. And his girlfriend said, if you said something, he would shit in his pants. Oh, so if we a, mentioned him? Well, not just mention him, but say you're on the Subaru, you're driving down the street, you're about ready to turn to La Cienica. He goes, the odds are that he'll be. This is this isn't going anywhere. No, wait. You no, said no, no. no I, I think you just got to explain it better. I, I told know. her I would mention her boyfriend. And, and she said he'll shit himself when that happens? Well, yeah, now I feel bad like putting it like that, like it's holding the show in such high regard. No, I kinda, if we mentioned someone, they'd crash! Here's what I, but I'm picturing that he has a problem where he literally does shit. <laughs> he doesn't want you to say his name. She's getting him back for something. Oh. Yeah, say his name like seven times. He's just in the car. Oh, God, she no! Knows, she knows I'm he, shitting myself. <laughs> Honey, Douglas fucked me. You told him to say that. Oh, God, oh, no. Lincoln, 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 stop shitting. Lincoln, stop shitting. Lincoln shitting. Lincoln, you're All right, listen, right there's now. that. Ian, how do you say that last name? Quickly, let's rip through this stuff, because it's the only part of the show that's going to be normal. Carol Ann? Ian, 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 Carolyn? 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 There you go. I don't know what more you want from me. <laughs> you seem nice, though. Um, <laughs> my old house. On the, on the, um... Internet. <laughs> he could have been right. That's why I'm laughing. Like he give it a shot. Right. No, no, no. You're not right. But, but, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> relax. You're not right. All right. So on on um, Scott Show Comedy Bang Bang. Yeah. I said, you know, I used to live out of nowhere. I just thought of it. I used to live on 1295 Joan Drive. Someone's got to live in there. It's like the Southampton area. Go take a picture and tweet it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I got a tweet. There's my house. It was weird. Like, I was go panning in and, op and getting it bigger and looking at stuff, and I'm like, God damn it, like, that's a tree me and my dad planted. That sounds so cliche, but, like, that's, like, that's that it. That is weird. That's weird, right? No, I, I'm, I, I think that's, but to be able to have someone, one, someone went and did it and sent it to you, and then you can sit there and look at it. Yeah. 
I mean, I guess you can do that And I appreciate it, whoever did it. I really do. Can you do that with Google okay, Maps? I, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to take away from your moment. That, not that a picture swear. like that. Not a picture like okay. they got. Yeah, I agree you with get, that. You get an overhead. This guy mm. took like three or four pictures. No, no, Google Maps, you can go street view. You can look down. Not what I heard. We'll talk no, about no, it later. No, Google Maps, now. you can actually go no. back and, no, with Google Maps, they have a new feature. You can go back and it shows you in the past and you can actually interview yourself. But if you want them to tweet it. <laughs> that's cool, too. <laughs> that's, cool too. <laughs> that's cool, too, that they did. I like that, too. Can I throw something out to the listeners? I just want. I'm just always curious. Like, how many listeners are foreign? Like, listening from different countries. If well, we get we get emails email. from people that are. <clears throat> oh, really? Oh, of course. From just you know Sweden. Uh, that's not but I guess Italian. Italian. Oh, really? Italian. Italy? <laughs> Italian. Italian. The guy that doesn't know. Well. Hey, just throw us some 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 emails. Yes. Let us know what country well, you're from. I, maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll travel and do a live show somewhere and eat. And you know, right. I'm always. Just I like. It. And did you say we'll go travel and do a show somewhere and eat? We could. I said need, but we could eat. Oh, okay. Um, so anyway, yeah. So, uh, so uh, Doctor Seuss episode. <laughs> yeah. So the old house. Thank you, Irvine. This Sunday, Irvine. This Sunday. So that's like two days from now, Irvine. This Sunday. Then I'll be at the Nut Street. I very rarely put I'll, I'll dates. be there with you at Irvine. Irvine. Yes, tomorrow night, me and Daniel. Maybe the whole some of the, the everybody will come down and we'll all hang out. Whoa. So Nut Street Comedy Club, September seventh and eighth. Nut Street Comedy yeah, Club. Yeah, that's a great club. Have you played there? Uh, no, but I'm. But I've heard great things Where about it. Where is this? Genuinely, uh, it's uh, it's great. If you are in that area, you should go support that club. All Where the is time. this? Hey, today I'm Mark Marin. I want to plug. Uh, oh, Wilmington. Mark Marin, Delaware, <laughs> North Carolina. N- Wilmington, North Carolina. What do you think an airfare? Today uh, I uh, found out what an airfare was to go there. I, I, round trip or one way? W- a round trip. Two, wait, wait, wait. Two weeks ahead of time? Yeah. Do you have plenty of time? Yeah. Uh, nonstop or do you have a layover? Uh, there has to be a layover. 280 each way. Each way? Who, five, who, six, who? 460. Four yeah. 560. Oh. What are you no, trying to trick me? 560. 560. Five yeah, uh, no. I'm aggressive prices I'll, right. I'm yeah. going to go 420. 420? I'm going to go 560. Okay, I thought exactly what you guys just thought. A million! No, right in... <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> right in that range. I don't know, maybe it's like 100,000. Oh, Jordan. All right, Jordan. Jordan. She bet with money, Rory? That's she, ridiculous. Ridiculous. she doesn't know money. Yeah. How much was it? So, um, $750. What the fuck? I know. Oh. They, he goes, I don't know what's going on in... Wherever you're going. All right, so there we go. <laughs> hey, you are still using... I, by the way, I'm making fun of you, even I though I know the reasons, and it's always worked out the I same. I use a travel agent. But you do use a travel agent, yes. Yeah. It's basically Todd pays the guy to book flights for him on orbit. You know what? <laughs> it's Can worth I tell it. You what? It's worth it. He, he makes his own money. Let me tell you something. There <laughs> are people out there that know what I'm talking about. For every time he charges me fifty dollars, let me in on this. Okay, let I will. Me, I will let, let me, you in on it for a month. Let me be your travel agent. I get you. I guarantee you. I get you the cheapest prices. I'm obsessed with it. I okay. do it for myself. I like what you're saying. I think. Wait, you, mean you think your well. travel agent's a listener? <laughs> no. You don't want him to find <laughs> no. out this way. No, 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 no. I think that uh, you don't understand. Like, even if you weren't busy, like if you sat at a desk all day when I needed to know something, let's say hypothetically you did, yep. you might be able to, but it's mixed with a comfortability. And I think he earns his own money. Every so often I need to connect these weird cities, and it's just ah. to call him up. I still defend it. It, it, it is, sometimes it's totally worth it. I get it. I could go online and do it. But you know what? I call him. He never complains. I go, let's switch this. I do this. I move that. He goes, that's all right. I always feel like he earns his I fucking could, money. I would put you on Delta. You would have He's so just had a baby. Miles. He just had a baby. Woo! He needs the money. <laughs> Big deal. I'm trying to get married. Is this, is this how Listeners, things? I'm trying to get married, so we are going to actually start a uh, donation thing for my wedding. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're not, we can't do it on Kickstarter because you have to have, be a legit art project, uh, but we're just going to do a, uh, a PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's a great idea. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. We're going to try to get five grand on PayPal. We're not going to get it. But you know we, what? I'm we, all we, for supporting you. Yeah, thank you. Hey, and, Rory, I can't even get these cheap motherfuckers to follow me. <laughs> all, all the listeners, you're hoping that everyone's going to cheap oh, in? Can I tell you something? I'm not trying to get the listeners uh, at, you know, start. If you send him, Rory, a dollar, let alone ten, Daniel will, will just be... <laughs> yeah, fe- furious. He will, on one, on furious. one angle, he'll be so happy because he wants you guys to have a wedding. And he could... He's a, Correct. He is an emotionally this evolved... Is actually, no, hold this on, is hold great. on. This he's an great. emotionally evolved person and yes. he will be able to be happy for you. If you can... We actually made $4,500. He'll be able to be excited for you. But also, listeners, you should know this and I hope this doesn't, you know, make you do anything you shouldn't do. He will also be steaming. If the money just starts rolling and he's going to be like, those? He'll say like, it affectionately. They will put a check... In the mail, but no one will fucking follow oh, me on folks, Twitter. I think I he think, is, folks. You're gonna get him so mad if you do this. 
Uh, and just so everyone knows, the campaign is going to be called Fuck Daniel Kino, Help Us Get Married. That's the name of it. And by the way, in all fairness, we, we settled on that today, me, Jordan, and Rory. We had a meeting. We did, I said, don't make it mean-spirited. Oh. But just That's the name one, one F word. One F word will be fine. All right, listen, I gotta, we're, we're almost there. No, 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 no. In the wood show, no sound effects. Because this was the beginning part. And it was the no, no, it's all... It's, like it did, it did. But, it, but not even here, not even here. But right. it's all good. Cool. Remember what I said in the beginning? I'd always rather you do something. Well, that's why and, I did it. Yeah, good. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Like when I, I'm, not, I'm not joking. I go home and I listen to the show and I see stuff that he dropped in. Sometimes we're in such the heat of the moment, we don't, I don't realize heat it. It's funny. Heat of the yeah. moment. It's funny. So I'm, you know what? No, it's okay. It's all right. Phyllis Diller. Yeah. Uh... She, I, I thought about something totally serious. Uh, I saw her in I Am Comic two years ago, and she was, you know, sharp. sharp. With it. Yeah. Very like, funny. That sounds so cliche, but like... She was, a, she was a great part of that movie. And she I, was mm-hmm. very funny. Mm-hmm. And yeah. also, I think, uh, you know, I think she knows, I hope she knows a lot of comedians. Like, I knew, like, as you get older, she stood the test of time, and she was part of, you know, uh, she was, uh, she would have, she should have been a respected comedian. She was. I'm just saying she should have been by a lot of comedians. Oh, yeah. And I was glad when, like, I asked, like, my peers, like, they'd be like, oh, no, no, you, you respect Phyllis Stiller. Yeah. Oh, yeah, legendary, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I personally think. All right. Some I of the other... Most, Mount, most Mount, on the Mount Rushmore of comedy, for sure, right? Yes. I, I think, think, I think so. Mo- I think most people think that, too. Yeah. Sure. These are going to be little segments throughout the night. Fun. I'm very excited. Um... <laughs> I really am, actually. I'm very excited. No, I'm, this is going to... You don't understand how much food that I have. We have schmores. I'm so excited. I went... Dan, uh, Blake, first of all, <gasps> let me tell you who's here. Uh, uh, Eric is here. Eric. Eric. Can we get the uh, that piece of paper over there? So that I can remember everyone's names? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, this is separate. I know everybody's name. I know. Uh, Eric is here. Eric. Jordan is here with her sleeping bag and pillows. Um... Blake Wexler is here. Mikey LaRue is here. Everybody, you know, Mikey's we don't do this that everybody. often, but... Welcome back, Mikey. Hey. Chris hey. Burden's here. Hey. <laughs> hey. Chris Burden's here. Hey. Rory's here. Katie is here. Daniel Kino's here. Can I, and can I just say something? I remember the day when we were doing the podcast mm-hmm. and Todd said there would be a camping episode. For all you listeners, just know... Todd is a man of his word. Thank he you. delivers. He Thank doesn't you. say he's doing it tomorrow, but he does it within a year and a half. And can I say can I, so. can I say something about Rory? Can I say something about Rory? And he'll just do it at his house and not in the woods. Yeah, I know. Can I say something about Rory? He's a man of his word. Because 2 o'clock today I called him and asked him if he could give me a little ribbing about the uh, time it took me to go camping. <laughs> and ended off with a nice little joke. And you know what? He came through with wow. it. Thank I'll you. I don't know it. why I wanted it. I felt it would just make me feel better. <laughs> and thank you. I didn't know if you were going to do it. I didn't know if you were going to do it. Every, every insult, the guy can just pull that and go, and I want to thank Todd. And let me tell you, like, you give me the, what if you're on a... I don't know if that would work on a roast. So anyway, oh, it's going to be great. Oh, so the food, what I did tonight, by the way, I don't cook, you know, I don't do anything, but I like to invent things from things that are already made. So I've done this before, but I took a chocolate, you know those ring cakes at Vaughn's? Everyone pay attention to this. They're chocolate <laughs> ring cakes. Yeah, they're like, I no, mean they're, just, this. they're just moist and Vons. they're cinnamony. I thought you were doing well. Listen, it's for that, mark that down, Gabe. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, do it for me. I don't want that out there. <laughs> Guys, come on, <laughs> come on. So I, so I sliced the chocolate cake in half, and then I took mint chocolate chip ice cream, oh, yeah. and I put it in, and then you put the ring back on top. When I say cut it in back half. Back in the freezer. Back in the freezer. Then I bought an apple pie. I, I don't know why, I got this idea. Then I bought some custard. It's a little creamier, and the, mm. I smeared it all over the top of the apple pie and froze it. It's going to be like apple pie with... Cu- what, would you have a correction? No, I'm asking you. Not a correction. Yes. A question. Because uh, you have to put it in the freezer because of the ice cream. Yes. Well, you could put it on right before you ate it, but it's good when everything's frozen. And then, and then well, when we take the pie out... You don't, you don't, just like an ice cream... It out? No, just like an ice cream cake. You just take it out for five minutes. Oh, oh I'm man. I'm excited. Anyway, so I did that, and then I got the stuff for s'mores. One time when I was camping, this leads to something else I got ready... Uh, I was camping and I went into the little general store to buy some uh, chocolate bars for the schmores. And this little kid goes, did you ever try putting Reese's cups in there? And I went, I will tonight. (laughs) And we did. And it was, oh, Jesus Christ. 
the, the marshmallow and a Reese's cup. Yeah. With the and I got the graham crackers that are what are they on the outside? Cinnamon sugar, Cinnamon sugar on the outside. <sighs> So it's going to be good tonight. And then I, I made like 20 grilled cheese sandwiches. And just so everyone knows, yes. uh, Jordan also made uh, peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, and Isn't that right, babe? Oh. You peanut butter cookies oh. and take it! You know, that's a sweet gesture, but it's very hard to enjoy. Yeah, it's hard to. But can I what? tell you something, Jordan? Yeah! Those chocolate chip cookies, they were delicious. I ate three of them so far. They were so good. I'm not even lying. <laughs> Oh, God, there is something. There's Rory. something wrong with her. Yeah, Rory, she okay? She doesn't hear me. No eh, she, I mean, she just gets excited. Is there, is there something wrong with her? You know what? She gets excited, and that's. I mean, everyone else, we generally contain our excitement. You're talking right. about a spirit that is free to live. You know what? Good for her. Maybe we're the ones that need to learn from her. Thank you. Chicken salad. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> hamburger, chicken salad. No, it's not chicken salad. It's, it's a hamburger. Hamburger, chicken salad. I could be the chicken salad. Chicken salad. Chicken salad. Chicken <laughs> salad. Yeah, it's got to be like bowling. It's like a bowling ball about to hit the pin. Did you try it, Blake? Blake. <laughs> what would you do if you were doing it? Chick. Chick. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm having a good time. This is what this show should be. Okay, listen. Can I have a flashlight? It's just, it just never happened. I have a flashlight that's... Yeah. I unscrewed all the bulbs. There's not a light on in this house. The only light we have is from that candle. I unscrewed the fr the freezer bulbs, the refrigerator bulbs. Yeah. Everything. You re unscrewed the bulbs in the Swear fridge. Swear to God. You want me to go show you? No. Try to flip that switch. Okay. I believe. Here we go. So this is to everyone at the Todd Glass Show. Todd, Daniel, Katie, Lynn, Chris, Rory, Jordan, Andrew, Sensitive, who... Oh, we're so sad he couldn't be here tonight. He got hit by a train, folks. Oh. And uh, what are you going to do, right? Uh, <laughs> all right, there you go. <laughs> did right. you hear that? What did uh, Chris say? He said the train's in the shop. <laughs> 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 That's his friend, Chris Burton. Write him letters. Oh. Well, talk to him when you see him at night. <laughs> they live in the same apartment. House, whatever you... Uh, I don't know where you live. I imagine. Apartment. You know, I went over Okay, there. listen. That's Andrew nice. Sensitive. I know. Um... Andrew Sensitive, Sandra Vanguarden slash Preston, Eric, Erk, <laughs> Mikey, thanks for all the great uh, visuals, and Blake, thanks for all the shows, the serious ones, the silly ones, make them longer, everyone here at the Brown County Winery. There right, you go. You need to get that winery, that's nice. An what was that, the Brown? Yeah, yeah, let's get the yeah, name And they're going to the supply all the wet wine for your wedding already. The Brown County Winery. I yes. just want you guys to know as a winery, we're going to be getting married uh, yeah. next year. They're going to supply the all the Daniel Kino campaign. <laughs> yes. well, well, hey, by the way, if they don't supply all the wine, it'll be fuck Brown County Winery. Right. Yeah, what yeah. is that? Wow. I think it was a phone. I think it fell. Okay, there uh, we go. But that is very nice of them. And yes. Can we give them, do they have a website or something? No, I, I sent them a no. bottle of wine. <laughs> 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 and if you must know, yes. Um, hey, by the way, today I heard we got to take a we got to take a break here in a second. And can then, I tell a funny story about wine? I'll keep it to one minute. You know what? You can you can yeah, but All right, I don't want to forget it to ten. All right. <laughs> I went to uh, a friend's party. I, I was going as a friend of a friend. He just said, "Oh, a guy I went to college with. He's having a big party. We're in D.C. He's having a bunch of people over. We were like, yeah, let's go. We're not doing anything.' I was super high. He, uh, so my friends were just laughing at they because they didn't smoke pot. They thought it was crazy. That was high, but they just grabbed a quick Trader Joe's bottle of wine, something very. It was like four dollars. We go to the the party and the guy the guy greets us and we go, hey, thanks for letting us come over. You know, here's a bottle of wine. We're just being nice. And the guy looks at it, he's like, oh, thanks, great. Well, come on in. Let me show you around. We go downstairs. He has a full on wine cellar with like a tasting table. A whole cellar. And I remember everybody was like, we just brought a guy that has a wine cellar, a $4 bottle like of like okay. Cabernet. <laughs> Is it like if you didn't know, who's the great comic? Who's Where? a great comic like that everybody respects? Seinfeld? It would be like if you went over his house, and you, for whatever reason, let's say you're 75, you're just not aware of him, whatever yeah, the reason yeah, yeah. is, and you go into his house, but you're not aware of his, who wouldn't be aware of right, Terry? Right, but for right, this right. bit, not even a bit, this could happen. Are you about to name a comedian, another comedian that's bad? Well, I was going to get up to that point and let people fill in the blanks. Oh, uh, okay. So it would be like if you walked into his house and you went, here, we love comedy, we thought you would enjoy this, and you give him a <laughs> CD of... No, 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 oh, we can't. No, we can't. Yeah, yeah, that has to be good. No, no, we gotta cut <laughs> that out. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's all right. I don't want to. You wouldn't. No, you wouldn't no, want to no, be no, told no, no, saying no, no, no. that, right? I could leave it in. It's a hundred dollars to get it taken out. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all in? Is that all in? That all was all in. Yeah. So people know. Well, you're never going to know who it was. But in all fairness, I left it in at least. Oh, you left all the explaining. I left all the explaining. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Blake Wexler yells out a comedian's name. I edited it out. I made $100. Or you'd be hearing it. <laughs> yeah. So I made $100. I'll let you go. You know uh, what? Consider it your birthday present. Thank it's you. It's browncountywinery.com. There you go. Brown County You work Winery. for them? BrownCountyWinery.com. Yeah. It's a very... I know you already said hey, thank you. But if I just may reiterate one more time. That's a very nice gesture. I mean, you know, they really... They, it's they, a nice they, gesture, but they should have sent more, right? No, no. Oh, I, I thought, thought that's what, saying, what you were no, saying. No, no, no. <laughs> I was saying... I bet there's other that, listeners that, that have <laughs> companies that... Uh, yes, what, I'm, what, I, what I was getting at, if, if okay. there's other listeners who work at a place that has products... That they enjoy they the show. They should be sending. They that should stuff. be sending. Them well, they here. think they like will. the Brown At least County Winery. It off. Dot com. Yeah. Okay. So listen. So there. Here's what we're gonna we're gonna talk about. But guess what? Um, I have two filthy, dirty blankets. So uh, Daniel, I'll give you one because we know you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my own dirty blanket. <laughs> yeah. And then I brought. I know you don't care since the remote control. I know you don't give a. Sh- you don't wipe your remote control down. So I gave you a pillow with dog shit on it. Can I tell you a really quick story? <laughs> one time. One time uh, we were, and I was in Tempe. I think you were there with me, mm-hmm. and uh, I uh, I was there with you. Doesn't matter. Um, and uh, Alex, I think you were you you were right the second time. <laughs> <laughs> And Alex, um, Alex Murray, oh my, my God. manager, your manager, yes. and, and, he, and he walks into uh, to the condo where I was staying, and, we're, and, he, and he, took, he goes to turn off the TV, and he takes a napkin, and he uses it to cover the remote and turn off the TV, and I was like, Alex, like, that thing's filthy, I go, I'm staying here. Do you like realize that like I, yeah. I'm your friend, I'm How's your client? I'm, how do you think I feel like I'm some sort of a fucking animal that you came to visit in a cage? Like, like if that's how they approach crime scenes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, so, well, you learned something about Alex. Drop him. Um, okay, so you left all that in before? Yeah. Okay, so let's go, f- let's, let's take a break. And um, you got pictures of this in here? We're always trying to blow the candles out. I'm going to have some water. Oh, thank you. Oh. In the middle of the woods. So there we go. So that's what we'll do. We'll take a break right now. Who is that? Oh, hey, Rob. Um, all right, take a break. Well, I know, I don't want to say take a break like that. You, are we still on? Yeah. Yeah, this isn't a take a break type of a show. It's more of a chill out show. I gotta change the vibe. Yeah. We're gonna go to another time in another place. We'll see you in the future. We'll see you in the future. And that's not a this, lie. This, by the way, might be the only show we've ever done where we actually take breaks. This is also yeah. the only yeah. podcast well, that's ever no. done a sleepover camping Thank uh, you. episode. Well, these yeah. other podcasts are shitting in their pants. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this is heavy yeah. stuff. Right you notice now. they all have openings now? <laughs> they have yeah. openings. No, no, like musical produced. And yeah, they're, that's and, they're, bullshit. and they're taking breaks. Nobody Back. fucking took breaks before I took breaks. True. Thank you. It's true. true. Am, I break, during Am I crazy? Break, Am I crazy? Hello, oh, when Am you, I crazy? I'm seeing you so oh, crazy. Oh, God. Wait, you guys have I, to tell me I'm not crazy. No, you're not. Am I crazy? No. So, oh, my God, I knife every fucking one of you dead. You're not. I knife every one of you no. dead. No. Am I crazy? It's a very sane thing to say. I'm not crazy. We're having fun. All right, as long as I'm not crazy. Crazy. Well, if stabbing fun. everybody in this room just to prove a point is crazy, then I don't want to be saying. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to see you in the future. <laughs> All righty. So here we go. Part three of Sleeping Over Todd slash Campfire. Now, we're back at the campfire now, and uh, Tommy Chong showed up. I should say that um, I, when I grew up... Uh, I used to listen to Cheech and Chong, and uh, it was really cool to hang out with him for the night. Uh, he was gracious with his stories and gracious with his laughter. He fit right in. It was, it was great. And uh, we're also going to release... We talked a lot more than we're playing here, so later we're going to release some other segments when we were sitting around talking to him. But we put some isolated segments in this night. So we're going to go, oh, I like that music in the background. We're going to fade right into mid-sentence. Somehow we got on the topic of talking about a comedian that I used to really like, uh, Jimmy Tingle, and Tommy asked if we knew who he was, and we just start talking about him. So we're going to go right in mid-sentence here. I really like that music in the background. 
There we go. Katie just fade right into us talking about Jimmy Tangle. Ah, oh, there you go. Do you guys know Jimmy Tingle? Uh, yes. Boston. Yeah, I love Jimmy Tingle. Me too. He's great. He, there he is. A, he's, I, I just saw him last year at, uh, at a film festival. I saw his little tape. Did you see his tape? No. Yeah, he did a great tape. I always, that's funny to hear his, hear his name because I always really liked him. And I also used to use him as an example as he would have like a social joke, but he'd make it like in a very funny way where it was funnier than it was preachy all the time. Yeah. Well, you know what he did, don't you? He he no. went back to to uh, Harvard. 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 Did he really? And he he was the commencement speaker. I saw that speech. That was and great. and uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, the, Merle Streep was there, and a bunch of other he actors. Knew he was smart. But it was Jimmy Stale. He got up and did the speech in front of all the Harvard people, uh-huh. and it was funny. It, it was, was funny. great. You know how I knew he was smart? <laughs> Seriously, because he liked me. I figured a guy has that's to get good, it. Yeah, it's a good thing. No, that's it, taste. It, it, that's taste. It's, it's, taste. it's the Aikens diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like, I saw that commencement speech, and he didn't try to go up to like their level. He just he stated his. He stated his, and everyone came to him. <laughs> he basically it looked like he was just doing his act at the Kowloon. He did. It was. He was. And man. it was yeah, killed. It was great. Funny guy. I love that attitude he has. That. That's a good college show. Who Irish. was who? There was another like what? a really big political comic who in had Boston. Attitude? Yeah, it's a good college in show when you get to do the commencement speech at Harvard. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's one of the better jobs Harvard yeah. to be gotten at NACA. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who, who am I talking about? There's like a really big political guy in Boston. Oh, can I say in something else 80s? about Jimmy Tingle? Yeah, what? Um, well, first of all, I'm managing him. What if I mean? Oh, no wonder I talk and mention him. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying this is one of the jokes he wants to be remembered for, but I liked it because it was like defending the post office. And so, he, you know, he goes, uh, you know about what the price is. And I'm not going to do the joke as good as he did it, but he goes, people always go, oh, can you believe stamps went up to 30 cents? Can you believe it? Can you believe they went up? Uh, I'm going to bastardize this joke, but I'll do it good enough. He goes, you really? They send a guy over to your house. Walks around the neighborhood, he gets out of the thing, gets it, puts it in a bag. Then he walks around all day with it, then he goes back to the main station, they sort it out, and then they put it in a truck. Then that truck drives over to the airport, and if necessary, they put it on the plane, they put it on the plane, they take it off the plane, then it lands somewhere else, they put it in a truck, that truck brings it to a local place, and then they take it out of that truck into little the trucks, and then they deliver it to your house. Yeah, I'll pay 30 cents. <laughs> 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 he's great, man. I realized I was watching it. Uh, um, he, 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 did, he, did that joke, he did that joke on Carson, and it was the only time he was on Carson, and it, and it's in his uh, thing. He did a joke about uh, about George Bush, uh, no Ronald Reagan, and, uh, and the Contras, mm-hmm. and 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 they're in, in Congress. And 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 uh, Point Dexter and Reagan were testifying, and they couldn't remember anything. They couldn't remember. <laughs> and, and Tingles thing, Tingles said, "Listen, oh, right, right. Yeah, if you if you if you're going to sell arms for hostages and for drugs, he says, jot it down." <laughs> <laughs> That was yeah. the other one that I loved too. <laughs> Don't you think you jot it down? Like he has that, that also that accent that makes it that much fun. Yeah. And he took his hand and he went like a little, you know, made pretend he was writing with a pen. But he did jot that. He did that grief buildup. I mean, uh, the biggest you can be, but just jot it down. <laughs> Incredible. I heard that joke when on, I, first time I heard it was on his, uh, when I saw his tape. And I, I said, this guy is a genius, man. He, <laughs> it's killing me. I can't come up with the name. There was, there's another guy. I think he was right. He was pre Jimmy Tingle in Boston, and he had that great joke. Was he a Jimmy comic Pringles. in Boston? Uh, hmm. yeah. Jimmy comic Pringles. From Boston. He had I'm that. gonna stick with that one. Jimmy Pringles for Kennedy. our listeners Jimmy that didn't hear my brilliant comedy joke. <laughs> now it's really killing me. What's really killing you? I can't remember. His I thought my act. No. Or are you doing all right over there? I'm good. I'm good. Roy, you look nice. Hey, Roy, I feel so relaxed. This is so I relaxing. Feel so relaxed. It's Being next to a fire, that. it's always I so relaxing. I feel the same way. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> this weather's perfect. Maybe I should get this fire going a little. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was oh Carcinogenic is, is that up. oil yeah. smoke <laughs> coming <laughs> in. Oh, oh my God, face. it's burning my legs. Careful, there's a bunch of wire. Mm-hmm. Watch it there, little lady. I'm so where do you guys where do you guys work? Improvs and improvs and. 
funny bones and funny bones restaurants with parties. You know what? Mm. I don't. <laughs> Don't, don't pull me into your shitty clubs. <laughs> you, you don't do privates anymore? No, I know. I can't make it Tommy, Tommy, do you still, will you still do a private? Like a birthday party? Will you do a birthday party? <laughs> Why, did you just get one or something? No. Would, no, you, just, would you do, like, if somebody called in, like... He's you, talking about, like... You know, one of those weird like, things. Like so some, I'll give you, you know, whatever the grandage is. And then, For everybody listening, Todd anymore, is fixing up the not fire. Even have a price anymore. You're not standing in the living room at some rich guy's house. Thank you. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to all... Bring don't don't burn the plastic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm That's sorry. very carcinogenic. <laughs> carcinogenic. You know what? I knew not to do that. And you know, I got cancer. You know, right. I, I don't know if you know that. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, I, I bring it up now and then. But. <laughs> no, we invited over to, to witness... For everyone listening, well, Todd tried to burn plastic. <laughs> when did you, uh, you did just learn that you had cancer, right? I learned about a month ago. Yeah, no, actually three months ago now. Yeah. And did, it, was a, it was actually a relief. Oh, Why? Because the doctors kept sticking their fingers up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I had three or four different doctors. Oh, and, <laughs> so when they found out, they said, I said, oh, thank God. No. Thank God it's over. Now take prostate? it out. Jesus take out the fingers. Huh? Is it prostate? Yeah. Yeah. And, but it's a good, good... Uh, oh, well, the good news... It's the ah, good cancer. You'll probably die from something else before you die from this. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Yeah. That made me feel good. Yeah, who's that, Dr. Vinny Boombots? <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield's doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Vinny Boombots! <laughs> no, cancer used to be the big hangout for all, right. the, all the comics. Right. And now they hang out at the uh, farmer's market. Have you I know, been down I see. There? Yeah. It's like old I see them in there. there. And they all hang around and they... They tell each other jokes, and they don't laugh. They just go, funny. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. What year did you funny. start? Stand I started 70, well, 69, actually. So who were your 1969. Like, who, who was around? Who were you like? Hey. Well, I was a musician way before I was a comedian. And so, uh, but I loved, uh, I, knew, I knew a lot of guys. I knew Red Fox, and, and I knew, I got to know Richard We, we have to find out. Is that story true about Red Fox? Tell, tell well, the story. You know that old joke. That is, that, is that, you know, bum, bum, bam, oh. do you know that joke? Oh, and when he's walking out. The, yeah, yeah, when he uh, goes, yeah, fuck you, yeah. five that's a, people. That's a real thing? Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's Fox. <laughs> that's <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, fuck that, you. I'm, I'm not playing for 20 motherfucking people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always wonder if everybody gets the same enjoyment out of that joke for the same reason. Like, for me, that joke makes me laugh. It has nothing to do with Red Fox. It has to do with how they place works like clockwork. Yeah. And when yeah. that band's told, bum, bum, bana, yeah. they, don't, they don't give a shit. <laughs> it's like, what happens? They hit, when he says this, when he says good night, they heard good night. Bum, 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 bam, no. that, is that why everybody thinks that's funny? I, I visited him when... Uh, that's why I think it's funny. Okay. okay. When he was working. Fox is funny. He, he, he used to have a, a, a two-pronged Coke spoon. You know, you know how everybody has one? Uh-huh. He had a two, two-pronger. And he'd, he'd dip it in with two. <laughs> he'd do it with two. And, he, <laughs> and he'd sit outside his dressing room. He never sat inside his dressing room. He'd just sit, sit outside like the bouncer, uh-huh. you know, and sit out there with his Coke and his, and his, uh, his drink and, uh, and, and the whole court with whoever walked by. Funny <laughs> Isn't guy. Isn't it funny, like, how we, like, we think of Red Fox, like, no, I, don't rem- I don't know him. He's kind of like Rodney. Like, we know him as, in that age, in that element. Well, was Sanford and Son. Yes. But he was the probably the single most incredible stand-up comic I'd ever seen in my life. Really? Uh, Live, he was that. I guy? seen him. I seen him do two hours. The first hour, he brought the people up so hard you're you're literally pissing your pants. You're laughing that hard. And then he brought them down. He brought them down so far that they were running out of the club. They were actually they were so insulted they were getting they were leaving the club. And he would he went to the front to the the door and opened the door and. Thanks for coming. Evening. Have a good trip. And then he closed the door and went back on stage and brought him up for the last half, last another hour. He brought him right back up. I mean, he he could do anything with it. Was he doing that consciously? Like he was trying to see how much. Totally. He could get away with no, it? no, he wasn't trying. That's how good he was. And, and and you know how we you know come on, comics we have to have our little alone time before yeah. we go on. You know, get our shit together. You know, Fox never. 
Fox would be sitting at the bar talking with someone and have a drink, and they'd introduce him, and he'd say, yeah, okay, uh, see you later, and put the drink down and walk on stage. <laughs> And just kill, so just then, kill. Did he? Did he have like material? Like, did he have notebooks? <laughs> yeah. Did he have notebooks with jokes? No. Did, did he? Did he ever sit down and write during no. the day, or was just no. raw? Fox, never. Yeah. Can I tell you why I love that story? First of all, always love Red Fox. Now I know this is just a coincidence, so I'm not trying to take too much credit here. But uh, people. That's always, what you do. No, people always ask me. They go. How can you eat a sandwich and walk out on stage? I go, I just can't. <laughs> I go, not if I'm nervous, but I'm not nervous when I'm performing. If I'm doing a corporate, I can't eat for a week. But in a comedy <laughs> club, I could. So that makes me happy that Red Fox could eat and then or take a drink. Yeah. yeah. But, he, you know, off, off stage, he was very quiet. I hung with him. I had an after-hours club. like me. I had an after-hours club <laughs> in, in Vancouver. And, and uh, they, you, they, you're right. they, everybody would hang out. You know, all the it was mostly Motown people. It was a black club, and Fox came down to hang out, and he was very quiet. Hardly said a word, but when he did, it was funny. You know, like he was sitting with Barbara McNair. Do you know the, the actress singer? She was an actress anyway. She was there, and she's quite classic. You know, and and Fox just said, "Can I get you anything? Some head?" <laughs> 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 just, just so smooth. Who, who, through your years of st- uh, in the business, was he the funniest person you've ever met? Like he in made real me, life, in real life, who was the funniest person? Fox you- made me. Fox made me laugh so hard I hurt myself. I mean, I literally fell out of a, of a chair. But, and then, <laughs> the, then there was a group called the Committee that that used to work here. They, they were really, really, really funny. In fact, Cheech and I stole a lot of their material. That's how we got our act. <laughs> uh, Richard Pryor is probably, probably the, the funniest. And to me, and, and to me, the best. I think Steve Martin. To me, yeah, that's he could do more with an audience than anything. And he could do anything he wanted with an audience. I've seen him do it. You know, you, like because you know him from from nothing. Like he's you were there when he was... he was open mic night like me, like like Cheech and I. Yeah. You know, somebody said something about Steve Martin, a review that made me so jealous of the review because it it was indirectly, I think it's sort of what I like to do. And uh, they go, what's wrong? I'm so hot. Is it? Um, That, uh, (laughs) wait, what was I just talking about? Steve Martin review. Oh, Steve Martin, the review basically said he acts like a comedian and the audience acts like they enjoy it, but they, and they love it. (laughs) And I go, that's what I love. Like, they got it. Like, they, he was going to act like, he, he was going to do this joke that was so ridiculous, and they were all going to act like it was the best thing in the world, and that was part of being part of it, really. Yeah. You know, right? Yeah. yeah. Am I making any sense? No, yes. Yeah, the arrow through the head, like, you know, that's... The, well, he started yeah. out in melodrama at Knott's Berry Farm. Mm-hmm. Is that he true? Did a melodrama theater at Knott's Berry Farm. You know, I never knew that was Knott's Berry Farm. Well, I just thought, I thought it was Knott's Berry Farm. Oh. I didn't know it was Knott's. Berry Farm. Did you know it was Don, Don Knotts Berry, berry Farm? <laughs> 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 you thought it was like little berries? Come on. You thought it was little berries that looked like Don Knotts? No, I didn't put the name. It was berries. Knotts Berry, Knotts like berries. A, the name Knotts Berry. Thank you. <laughs> right, Knotts Berry. I didn't think Knotts Berry Farm. I just, like Knotts Berry. Knotts Berry, like yeah. if it was one word. Knotts Berries. It's lots of... These are good Knotts, Knotts Berries. <laughs> Thank it's you. little tiny Don Knotts heads. The, the only thing Steve Martin did, though, that, that he, 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 he buried himself in a hole like uh, Andrew Dice Clay did. You know, with that character, the character be, attacked him. You know, yeah, there's no way attacked to and took him down. Right. And took him down. He 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 became a rock star uh, uh, com- comedian. He was the only comedian that would he'd have thousands of people outside of you know in Vegas, you know, doing wild and crazy guys. Can you imagine doing a bit and having <laughs> having it come back at you like that? <laughs> you know, it was like you must uh, have tapped into some silliness that that people were ready to. To, to, to wear on their sleeve, to, to have gotten that huge with, with that act. Because yeah. he you know didn't what? say anything social. There wasn't like, you know, anything like any like incredibly Opposite. well-crafted. It was just so silly. Yeah, you know what that and reminds me of, goofy. Rory? And I'm, I think you'll agree with this. In a smart way. I mean that as a... Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah very cute. Even Even though, because uh, Rory likes to be silly too on stage. And then this, I hope this doesn't sound too... Um, no, I mean, I, you're like you like to go. Yes, yeah, see if I can get like sillier and let yourself oh, yeah, go. I, I prefer it. Um, if, I mean, I know overtly Steve Martin. I get what he did, but just now, for whatever the reason, I realized, yeah, he was that silly, and people fucking loved it. Of course they did, because not that many 
people will go as far as he went. It'd be a, the absurdity. Yeah. And he was doing that 40 years ago. So it reminds me when I'm being chicken shit at a club <laughs> to fucking stop it. Yeah. Do it. You know, yeah. stop holding back, you know, because yeah. you will find those people out there. But if, if they're going to want it, they're, they're going to want it to be to the max. But, I mean, Does that make sense? It, it's double enjoyment for everybody because the people that enjoy that kind of comedy anyways, they love it. But the people who aren't even that kind of com into that comedy, they start to love it because they fucking appreciate the confidence with which you're saying it. And they're like, well, I, maybe I don't. It's like when people like a comedian, but they didn't necessarily laugh at him. They're like, no, I found that person to be entertaining. I didn't laugh. But like, I think when you commit to something huge, if you're going to be over the top silly, people are going to love it. And then other people that don't like it are going to respect it. should I quit comedy? It. Yes. I knew you were dancing around. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's all right. Can horrible. I get to the point? <laughs> Can I get to the point? You long. do it too much. Too much. It's not how far you're willing to go, it's how long you're, you're willing, willing to go that far. Yeah. <laughs> so. You know what? I'm going to take, uh, take a. We're going to take a break. Why? Even by the fire. Because I was going to make some food. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I like food. Are you food? hungry? I feel yeah. like even the break. I, I can only I eat like certain things, so. What, Grilled cheese sandwiches. No, I can't There's do that. Uh, no, go ahead, go ahead. Are you vegan cheese? Hmm? Vegan cheese? No, no cheese. Uh, could you eat ice cream cake? Nope. Oh my God! How about uh, peanuts? <laughs> Penis? Peanuts. Ah, <laughs> uh, no thanks. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Well, what? Uh, can you? Eat? And I have a. And, no, hold on. No, nothing. The other things I have. <laughs> I have a soft serve machine. I would have to start it up. I haven't used it in a while. Is that true? Yeah. You have a soft serve Yeah, machine? I have a soft serve truck. I bought an old soft serve truck. And like, you've never that? once wow. showed it to me. What I've, is that? What's a soft it's serve? It's a soft machine? serve truck. I'll pull it into my yard. I have saw it like Dairy Queen ice cream in a truck. And I just loaded it up with fresh vanilla ice cream. Is this how you spend all your money? I made... This is what I've been saving for. I want you guys to be happy. So I bought a <laughs> soft serve truck. <laughs> and now in our pod, house. I remortgaged the house. I bought a soft serve truck. And, uh, and you're living outside. Is, so, are you yeah. being repossessed? Yeah, I have to yeah, rent I live the house out. That's what I said would be funny. You tell people I just bought a lot. And you know what? I am. You know, they don't want to tell me your career's taking a major dive. So you go. I'm just. I put every penny in the bank. You know what I did? I'm living on a piece of property I bought out there in Virginia. But you're really just living there in the tent. <laughs> you have nothing. You know what I'm gonna people do? People come out. They admire you. They're like, "Fuck, man, how are you doing this?" You know what? Nothing matters. But they think you're doing ironically, not necessarily. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. We'll take I'm gonna, a break. I'm we'll be right a, back. Oh, I, I, I'm going to buy a shit ton of like really premium ice cream toppings and just put that in the truck and start to follow the ice cream man. <laughs> he goes. That's a good so one. as soon as someone buys, it's like, hey, come on, step right up in. Now you got your ice cream? Come get your toppings. I got hot fudge. I got <laughs> strawberry syrup. I got sprinkles. I got caramels. Ah, I got some chocolate chip. Yeah, I got <laughs> coconut shavings. You just follow Who wants them? avocado? It's California. So, like, so you follow. You just you just start. You see an ice cream truck. You pull right behind yeah, them. And then follow you him. just follow them. Yeah. Everyone does does come to you because he might have the soft serve, but he doesn't have all the toppings. Yeah. That's why you get like the premium toppings. Dun, 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 dun. You can have Lynn. <laughs> get your hot fudge over here. Get your hot fudge. I got, I got strawberries. I got pineapple over here. I got Jimmy's. I got new Jimmy's, white Jimmy's, chocolate Jimmy's, strawberry Jimmy's, strawberry fudge, hot fudge. I got marshmallow, marshmallow with chocolate pieces in it, chocolate Reese's cups, chopped up M&M's, M&M's, and we also take a wonderful peppermint patty and melt it over a pile of vanilla ice cream. We got that. We got sprinkles. We have nuts. We got crushed walnuts. We got crushed pineapple, fresh pineapple, real homegrown fresh pineapple, a lot of different toppings all over the place. I got everything for you. I'll take a hot torch. I'll melt some marshmallow on there. I'll put some candy apple on top of it. Fresh blueberries. That's right. Right down there from Knott's Blueberry Farm. We get the fresh blueberries every day. You put it out there. We got fresh blueberries. You like cut up watermelon dipped in cinnamon sugar? Boom. You get a half of one for 99 cents all month. Come on down. We got all type. We don't have one thing. Ice cream because we don't need it. There's one, there's one truck that follows the top guy, it's just a guy who sells little cups of milk. <laughs> little, I wash it all down with a nice glass of and, milk. And the first guy's like, stop trailing me. What do you care? You I got can't nothing. add all those things to my product. And I travel behind with a wheelbarrow with hot towels. Hot towels! Wipe your chocolatey face off. In a wheelbarrow, so it's super creepy. Show. Bob Dylan? Yeah. I played uh, basketball with Bob. 
You played basketball with Bob Dylan? Ah, Bob come Dylan, on, yeah. we all have that story. Is there, <laughs> yeah. is there a story there? Yeah. Tell stories and I'll, I'll play background music. Yeah, yeah I'd like you to give yeah. some yeah. Americana. What's, what's the story there? Wyatt, we're interviewing somebody. I'm we the lived, worst host uh, in the world. <laughs> we lived close together out in Malibu. Uh-huh. And we had the same guy that built Dylan's house, worked on my house and Cheech's house. And Dylan was a, was a fan, first of all. Mm-hmm. And then he became a friend, and, and uh, he played basketball in, in school, high school. So it's so he came hard over. to picture Bob Dylan being like athletic and playing no, he basketball. No, he was a good jock. He was a good jock. He was. Yeah, and he uh, he came over. We we had I had a hoop in, on my garage in uh, Malibu, and uh, we would play a one on one, and I had a sauna too, and so we played and. And Dylan came in for a layup, and I put him on his ass. Just big, <laughs> big old foul, you know. And uh, he, he bounced up pretty good. And then we all sat in the sauna, and, and so I got naked with Bob Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your title of your book. Yeah. Naked cool guy. with Bob Dylan. He seems so much younger, you know, when he's you know, playing sports and that, you know. Yeah. Just, he, he was a... It was a weird guy, you, you know. He, he kind of changed in front of your eyes. I wonder, like, how much of the weirdness that we're that we witness as just an audience that he, for I think, purposely puts out a lot of it out there. Like, how how much of that is Dylan know, consciously was, made up? No, no, he was he was he's a for real guy. He, you know, he was the one that turned the Beatles on the pot. You know. Really? Yeah. When the Beatles came over uh, for their tour, Dylan met him with a with a bag of weed. And, and they were they were bag like, of weed, a bag they, of weed. Well, they, no, they is had no idea. Of weed. It's the bag only of drug weed, you'll ever need. Weed. Everything is better with a bag of weed. Two, bag. three, four. A bag of weed, a bag of weed. It's yeah. the only drug you'll ever need. Ba- okay, that's enough. <laughs> so they they've never smoked pot before that point. No. That's Dylan crazy. turned them on. Yeah, and uh, Dylan's. Uh, you know that song, Mr. Tambourine Man. Sure. Uh, he turned me on to acid. The song the, he wrote about. He had a guy that played tambourine in his band, mm-hmm. and the guy. Uh, it was before the the new. It, it wasn't even called ass. It was called try this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, that's great. He had no name. Hey, try this. And 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 the stoners would take it and go. What? What does it do? <laughs> <laughs> and then you'd say, you'll find out. And then you'd stand and, you know, be in front of a mirror for like six hours. So, <laughs> so No, Dylan, Dylan, no, Dylan was, is a very, very huge, you know, culture mm-hmm. mover, you know. Yeah. I mean, very huge. Shaped I mean, everything he culture. did, everything he did, man. You know, even not being cornered into the the, the, the minstrel folks you know that. they wanted him to be that guy he said fuck that man and he went did you off. ever see the Scorsese movie where sure. he, he, they have footage where people would buy tickets mm. to just so they could go boo Bob Dylan yeah and it was such a, there was a there's a footage of, of, of the concert in London and it's my one of my favorite heckler comebacks probably ever where he's playing uh, an electric version of um like a Rolling Stone, hmm. and somebody yells out, "You suck!" And he goes, "I don't believe you." <laughs> wow. It's just so cool. No, he was a great guy. You know, what he used to do every year. I don't know if he still does it, but That's there's a, a gathering. Uh huh. There's a gathering of gypsies in Marseille, France. Uh huh. This is where the gypsies from all over Europe they gather, and Dylan used to attend that gathering every year. I don't know if he still does. He might. He does the Juggalos you every know, that, year. That, that, yeah. Dylan does the Gaffrey of the Juggalos. Hold on. You know, in Hawaii with the Jugglers. You know what? That, that uh, Bob Dylan line, that's one to stop and soak up because, seriously, that's like what every... Look, anyone could use that line. I don't believe point. you. But especially, as I always say, for especially somebody that's you know, younger, that knows that like if somebody says that to them, just go, I don't believe you. I know. Yeah. I think I don't believe you. That's a great. I love that. That's so, a fucking line so because that that seems simple, but it really at one point in your life might be all you have 
to hold on to that that's, you know, what you're being told isn't true to God. I don't believe you. You know, it might not be happening now, but I don't believe that's what I'm destined for. I'm sure for. not a lot of people around him were telling him that was a good idea to go electric. I'm sure everybody that was making so Oh, his money, manager. His manager was dying. Against it, right? You know. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. But yeah, I loved I loved his attitude. Uh, fuck you. Yeah. You know why? Because people already... Most people are comfortable with what they already know. Yeah. And... Right. Of course they are. That's why the few that aren't are extraordinary. If it was, if everybody was extraordinary, it wouldn't be cool to be extraordinary. Right. So the odds that they all think you should stay, do what you're going to do, that's because you're not extraordinary. Mm -hmm. And you have to learn to at least sometimes part of being extraordinary is not getting in someone's way that is. Can I have some of you what know? you're smoking? What? <laughs> are you st are you, that sounded like a good stoner rap, didn't it? Yeah. yeah I know. That did sound <laughs> <laughs> but it was either, as it, was, as it came out of my mouth, I either, that was really good or I just put a lot of <laughs> bullshit together for no reason. You're listening to <laughs> I'm good. Extraordinary with Todd Glass. Yeah, I am extraordinary. Like I don't the... believe you. I'm the dumb guy. <laughs> also, I mean, in that clip, too. <laughs> Yeah, in that clip, said, too, he delivers that line in a really cool way. Yeah. Also, it's not even, I mean, the fact that he's saying, I don't believe you, but he also is just so mellow it's with like, the delivery says, of it. Fuck you. Like, yeah. Like, comes out and I don't believe you. Yeah. Well, look at the You're lyrics right. the guy wrote. I mean, all the songs he wrote. Yeah. What if you go, somebody um, yells out, you suck, and then you go, I don't believe you, and then somebody else goes, you suck. He goes, hey, you, I believe. <laughs> you might be right, sir. You might be right. You, no, no way. But uh, you, you Positively, 4th sort of... Street, that's, got, that's probably the best breakup song ever written. Ever. What? Positively, 4th Street. Right, when he goes, you'll go your way, I'll go mine. <coughs> I guess. You go your way. I don't I'll go it. mine. No, I don't do bad, Bob Dylan. You started it. I know, I wanted I to see if anyone would, I wanted to see if any of you Nimrods would stop me. Sitting here having a great conversation, we're going to resort to. Ugh, come on! You're listening to testing the crowd with Todd Glad. That's right. <laughs> you know what I wish we could do? Get the computer, put a karaoke song up, and we'll do a campfire song. Hey, let's do be, our would best. You, would you? Uh, Why don't we yeah, just that's, pick a song we all fun. know that oh, I'm good? Thanks. Yeah. Let's do our best it's late night with Delilah. Like just have a nice little smooth like. Yeah, but I don't know you're listening that song. to Delilah. Lady Delilah. I no, no, no. I'm I'm saying be the DJ Delilah. At night, when she has this little music, and she's like, "Little Bobby just wanted to oh, yeah. write a letter to Diane and say it's you know I got a letter in ten from years Cheryl <laughs> who is missing her boyfriend who left her and she just wants to say come back and I don't know I couldn't think of anything because <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't want to make what happened is the bit went bad I made like I don't know we'll talk later I'm gonna move the mic back to the vicinity of the fire <laughs> that fire is hot I'm gonna be honest that ice cream. <laughs> that ice cream it wasn't it wasn't it didn't do it for me. Can the I cake say, was not moist and uh, also uh, now in there is an apple pie in the kitchen an <coughs> apple pie with custard smeared all over the top of it. Jordan says she knows what went wrong with the cake. I know what went wrong with the cake. Yeah, no chicken sandwiches then. Oh, come on, Jordan. Yeah, you didn't have any chicken sandwiches then. Jordan, stop it. Okay. You don't even sound like a... You say, ah, I'm a monster. I wouldn't want to marry you when you talk like that. That's embarrassing hey, for Rory. Hey, sit back down. It's Why embarrassing are you for Rory. Hey, oh, I'm a monster. Rory, are you guys seeing a therapist about this? No, she's fine. She's fine. She's a lunatic. No offense. How is she a lunatic? Because she's playful? All right, maybe you're right. Maybe you look Sounds a gift like horse in the mouth. Yeah, give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my God. What's going on over there? <laughs> That's how she kisses. I don't know. Hey, let's play uh, who has more Twitter followers. <laughs> do you want to play a kid? Uh, really? Yeah. Sure. I would want to do a song. Let's do a song. <laughs> I like to do a song. I'm a full-grown adult. There's an, another adult here with a guitar. Let's, let's do all something. Find, let's, all, let's all pick a song we all know. Sort of. Do you want to do a Bob Dylan so song? <laughs> well, I, don't, I want to do a song I know. Well, what song do you know? Happy Birthday? <laughs> we'll talk later. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> okay. Cut that part. Cut that part out. No. Um. I don't know. I thought if you got your the computer, you could open it up and it, the words would come up. We don't have to play the music on the computer. The karaoke computer. Yeah. Well, you. you have you, you ever met Bruce Springsteen? You mind? Okay, Never. You. Yeah, I seen him. I met him once, very, very briefly. Do you mind? But. Uh, Springsteen. He doesn't strike me as the kind of like Come he doesn't no, he doesn't smoke right. He doesn't really party. Pussy. He's a very <laughs> he works out. He's a very straight laced guy. Yeah, he's in, a, in the he's, best way possible. He's like a muscle head, you know. He, yeah. he's, uh, he works his arms a lot. You know. Yeah. He's uh, Cheech wrote a song called "Born." Uh, he took his "Born in the USA," uh -huh. made it into "Born in U uh, East LA." 
Yeah. Oh, I was really? born in East LA, oh, and he had to cheat. He had to chase uh, Bruce down to get permission to use it, and it took. Did he it, give it to him? Yeah, he, he eventually did. Yeah. You know oh, what? That's nice. But by the way, you don't think that. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Eric? You don't. It's funny. Who who just left? Chris. Chris. Oh, okay. Um, you don't think that that's funny because the story could have been he didn't. So at the end of it, it's good to know he goes. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, no, but he was he was a cool guy. Daniel Kino asks Tommy Chan, who's he met? Singer songwriter edition. When we, we come well, back. I knew you had a Bob Dylan story without knowing anything about you know I knew you really? had a Bob Dylan story. Daniel Kino lists through everybody he can think of and wants to know if Tommy met him. <laughs> Did you ever meet the uh, Lamb Chop and Sherry Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> Just lamb chop. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever meet Elvis Presley? No, I got a Christmas card from him, though. No. Yeah. What did it say? Just, hey, he was a big fan. You, Merry Christmas. Do you still have it. that? No, I, I don't know. Well, that was going to be a question I had for you. Um, so you know how you go over people's houses, and some people you see have done a really good job of framing pictures and keeping things, and I, sometimes I get a little motivated by that. I go, i got to... Start things that don't mean anything now are going to later. So you know, I don't know. I, do you do I, frame I, stuff? I, I, would, I, I should have taken pictures with everybody I've known. You know, like Muhammad Ali and that, but I never. But, but you weren't uh, a big picture taker. Uh, uh, Elvis Presley's story. He, um, the the day he died, I was walking over to Kareem Abdul Jabbar's house to get some weed. <laughs> It's like Kareem lived down the street. <laughs> Let's let that line breathe. That is amazing. <laughs> Kareem, Kareem lived he was down a the weed street. Dealer. You mean oh August 11, 1977? He was, he, was, he was the day he died. I, was, I, I heard about it, and Kareem called me up, and he says, I got some shit, come on down. And I, I was walking down the Stone Canyon, Stone Canyon, and thinking, man, Elvis Presley died. Whoa. And the weird thing was that Elvis's uh, Lisa Marie and my daughter Precious were friends at school, and Lisa Marie used to come over to our house and play with Precious. And so after he, after uh, Elvis died, I think the next day Lisa was over at our house, and they had the, all the TV is all about Elvis, and Lisa and my daughter Precious were playing in the next room, and then she came out. And Elvis's pictures there, and I'm looking at the daughters there, and there's Elvis, and she come out, and she just didn't even look at the at the TV, and just her just wandered, said something to Precious, you know, and they just went on with their game, like she did not connect that was her dad. Oh wow! How old was she? It had to be what? I don't know, seven, eight? No, uh, ten, eleven, ten, eleven, twelve, something like that. It was weird. That joke really didn't work in that situation. I know. Because you'd have to not well, know it's when it was. The only way it was worse is you pointing it out. <laughs> well, I mean, you really could have let it breathe <laughs> well. and let me have a bomb. But no, you had to stop the conversation. Then people, then people, and what do you point th- out? That what do you think I threw people a fucking lump out there? What do you think people think of me? If I don't point it out, they think, oh, I guess Todd doesn't know. That stuff yeah, just flies you, you by. You didn't hear Daniel just lump a uh, call of shit out there. Well, first of all, I didn't give you a hard time about it, but I was just factually figured out why it didn't work. No. Because you have to not know when it was. We don't. Right. We weren't. It couldn't have been yesterday. No. But like, here's when it's funny. If I go, it was weird. I just had to bar. Like, you know, I'm like, Mom, give me five dollars. Like, I need it for stuff. It was yesterday. And then you go, When did that happen? I go, oh, It was yesterday. Yeah. How were you guys able to get to this point off of the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar sentence? I know. Story. Story. Kareem, able- when he when he gave me a, his, the dope. He wouldn't answer he the door. He sky hooked it to you. He, he wouldn't. No. <laughs> That's how I picture it. No. <laughs> what? Not even that. Sky- Not even the sky hook. No. <laughs> I, I I rang his door. His gate. He had a big ornate gate. Beautiful gate. I rang the bell, and Bob then Hope this mailbox thing opened, <laughs> and a hand, big old black hand, reached out to the weed, <laughs> and gave me the weed. <laughs> Virginia, 
Bye, bye. Right, everybody. There, Thank you. Bye, everybody. The trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze. A tree road. Okay, turn it back on. Home. Okay. Is it back on? To a place. <laughs> I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country road. Oh, my memories gather around her, miner's daughter. So here's where we're at. Tommy left, and we're back in the house. Just to remind you what it's like, it is pitch dark. And uh, we're all sitting around the dining room table. Sensitive is here with us, which was cool. He stopped by with his cousin. And we're going to go right in mid sense for whatever reason. Daniel Kino does not realize that Sensitive was out by the fire pit. He didn't even see. He was sort of sitting behind a tree back there with his cousin. So he keeps asking me, when did Andrew get here? But I keep talking. When did Andrew get here? Finally, I'm like, how many times are you going to ask? I really like that music in the background. So anyway, that's where we're coming in. We're back in the house, and that's where we're going to go. We're going to bring you right in there. Here we go, Katie. Fade right in. There you go. How long has Sensitive been over here? Well, well, can, can you continue? He got here about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm sorry. I bring what it up. are we? Are you a, are you a special okay. needs? Okay, first of all, I'm going to make fun of you, and I think you'll appreciate this. I'll appreciate it even if you're wrong, but I'm sure you <laughs> will about, be. What about the fact, what about being honest and being in the moment? I, I am. Sensitive. I haven't seen I'm overriding with it. Night. I'm overriding it. I'm doing, you're right. I'm glad you did it, but I'm overriding it, and you can override me. What you're basically saying is, well, I was in the moment. It was worth it. You're right. It could have been. I didn't, yeah. Obviously, I, I didn't, Andrew, I I didn't think him. it was. That's why I kept plowing past it. <laughs> because I thought, all right, he, he acknowledged it. He'll be able to move on. And I kept doing my bit. You went, I can't believe how long Andrew's been here. And then I went, yeah, and I went on and on and on. I kept talking. And you went, when did Andrew get here? I was so on in, because I saw Andrew outside. It's not, now here, don't get me wrong. It's not that I wasn't acknowledging Andrew, because I had already outside acknowledged him. I thought you were him. kidding when you said that. I didn't see him outside. So when you said, oh, sensitive You make up lies in your story so you don't end up looking crazy? No, I thought you were kidding. I thought you were doing a bit. Like, oh, Andrew's here. Like, why the fuck would Andrew be here? He wasn't here all night. Um, and, then he sh- and then I look over and Andrew's here. He, well, he's here. Well, it, is this a new... Todd, can you we know, move on you from know what this? We're gonna I get do? it. Andrew's here. You know, and, no, you should, is Andrew here? When did he get here? <laughs> <laughs> no, when did Andrew get here? I'm not even no. joking around. <laughs> when did Andrew get here? When did Andrew go? My name is Lynn Shore and I write a song about Andrew. When did he get here? When did Andrew get here? When did he show up? When did Andrew get here? When did he show up? Everybody, when did Andrew Andrew get get here? here? When When did he show up? When When did Andrew Andrew get here? When did he show up? When did Andrew Andrew get get here? When did he show up? When did Andrew get here? When did he show up? One day Andrew, as he was driving down the street, he pulled into the parking lot and he got out of his car and it was neat. He walked up to the front door and walked into the house. When everybody saw him, this is what they shouted out. When did Andrew get here? When did he show up? When did Andrew get here? When did he show up? Oh, no! Ah, yes! You're pulling it out, you motherfucker. Oh, 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 you made it work. You pulled it out. Listen, one year, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Chad put the bottle no, down. No, I'm going to put it I'm down. Gonna, I want to drink and cut That's my face. That's your fourth. No, don't put that beautiful. You know, I want to drink and then break this bottle. And I'm going to drink and cut my face so I have good stories to tell. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Hooray. Hooray. Hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! 
When did Andrew get here? When did he show up? When did Andrew get here? When did he show up? When did Andrew get here? When did he show up? Huh? <laughs> you know what? The songs that we all like are the ones that do this. Even though everyone sees it's coming, there's something funny about... When, when did Andrew get here? When did he show up? When did Andrew get here? When did he show up? Okay. There we go. This is fun. Katie, having a good time? Yeah. She looks like she's having a ball over there. Get her some, <laughs> get her some dry toast. <laughs> I'm going to throw up. We, we, we went out the other night, and only Katie, she was so happy. You know what? If those who are happy win. So everyone had these pancakes and everything. She she eat a dry toast. She goes, no, I love it. Oh, you did? <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you? Yeah. That changes a lot. Yeah. I just thought you had dry... Like, there's something no. about the butter on toast, but dry, I thought you were eating dry toast. <laughs> That's all I wanted was toast. You know yeah, what? Butter, so you get the butter on there. You know what? I put a little cheese and ham and roast beef and make that motherfucker a sandwich. <laughs> When did him bing 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 Do you have stuff on that list you want to do uh, finish up? Yeah. Okay. Oh. By the way, we're going to talk about this next week on the show. About what? You're not going anywhere, Daniel. I know, but I want to make uh, sure that you're Does it happy. bother you that you have nowhere to go? Why would you say that? It bothers <gasps> me that that's the perception you have of me, that I would rather be doing something else than be here. And how much of that is my fault? One percent. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a good question. I didn't think you were going to fold so easy. <laughs> Anyway, I was about to be ready to admit maybe it was me. So thanks a lot. <laughs> Ooh, I just stood my ground there and I yeah. won. Well, now you <laughs> shit. That's now, a, that's now you got to change because I held out longer. <laughs> that makes no sense at all. If it does, great. <laughs> okay, uh, so anyway, here's here, I actually saw something that I want to... So at the party, uh, at a party that I was at this weekend with a lot of Hollywood celebrities, I tell you. Okay. Um, uh, somebody, we were talking about the Home Shoppers Network, and she goes, they always call in and go, we love your show. What show? <laughs> it's not a show. What, 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 what other shows do you like? Target? Like, that's <laughs> not a show. Wait, with, the, with shows like that, what's alternative programming? What's alternative programming? Like Whole the- Foods? Target. <laughs> Is that, like, if there's, that's a store on TV, you moron. You know why? These That's are going to be shows in the future. When did Andrew get here? When did show? I also like can the you read Affleck the... show. Yeah, what do you like? I'm trying to add to yeah. Where do you like? I like the Affleck I show. I want to make sure I know what he likes. Everybody should know what everybody else likes. You're right. We should all know something else. But tell, you know what, you want to hear something cheesy? Go on. Would you all go around the room, it's so cliche, but say one thing about yourself... It makes yourself better than everybody else here. I just think it's a good... <laughs> I wasn't going to go there, but that's a good, like, horrible game. Like, game should be something, a quality about yourself, maybe something no one knew. But you, like go, you go around the room, say, why are you better than everybody else here? It doesn't mean you don't love them. It just means you're a little bit better. By the way, I, to George Carlin, I would never even fake play that game. I'd end up getting my feelings hurt. <laughs> when, I, I can tell you one thing that makes me better than everybody here. What, the fact that you know that... What? Right, we're like, all baffled. Nobody's guessing. I'm not getting it. Wait, so... <laughs> Nobody's guessing. Daniel, you're gonna have to volunteer this information. Oh my god, we this don't know is, where we go. Why can't this? I have this much fun every week? <laughs> no, I had fun normally too. I get nervous. I like that you spoke into the paper. Um, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. This is a looseness that I really like, man. I don't. Mean I to, speak two languages. Uh, Can anybody here match that? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, I can. Go ahead. I speak one language well. Shut up. What, Go ahead, what do you Rory. Speak? I speak three languages. I know you do. I know you speak. Uh, so let's leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> I speak every language except for one. What is this an interrogation? Since we all know that I do. Can Tom vouch for me? That's my I see him. We're, we're, uh, Lynn, how many languages can you speak? Every language except for one. What? I don't know. Name one. Can you speak English? Yeah. No, European or whatever. I, I, European, I, I, yeah. I can't play no, these games. No, I don't games. know European. I, I can't play these games. I don't know places and states and, you know, direction. And things. I'm not good at any of this stuff. This is when I end up losing every time. Man. This is the area I'm horrible at. You know what I mean? When you yes. guys were talking out there before about this and this guy and that guy, I was like, oh. Todd Glass, we only play the games I can win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You think? Okay. So anyway, let's do this. Um, you want to? Let's do it. Let's. Can you read one of the emails? I'm going to read it. Yeah, hey, well, maybe this is. We'll do this. We'll call this uh, infectious fun. Yeah, uh, like Katie, can you infectious. stop it and start another file? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess you're right. Because okay. you don't really want this? No, no, absolutely do. Oh. I was going to maybe separate it. But uh, let's just do it. The, okay. uh, these are some emails. And you know what? Why not be positive, right? Right, guys? Correct. Yeah, I get a absolutely. lot of nice emails. And don't think I'm singing all of them because I'm fucking not. Positive is no. good. I fucking hate negative people. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Fuck no that. one's going to give me a laugh on that? <laughs> I hate negative people? Yeah. Wait, cause Honestly, negative, I thought we yeah. were being nice by not making fun of you. <laughs> I, I thought that was a very funny thing, but maybe well, it's just Daniel. It's good, Stop. Ri- it's good writing. What? No, I'm not. I would not. I'm, I feel bad. No, I don't want to be the guy. I who's like, hey, don't make fun of my bad jokes. I feel bad that I should have helped you out with that. One. I think they were both good jokes. Mm, like, uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, good is po- positive is good, and maybe we turn it into a little song here. Infectious fun. Okay. Infectious fun by Daniel Kaufman. And we can put reverb in this and post. You know those people who are so funny and silly that you not only love to be around them, but being around them makes you funnier. Mm. Makes you funnier. Maybe you don't have any friends like that. Those people aren't easy to find. Those people aren't easy to find. Those people aren't easy to find. And even if you do, You might feel self-conscious and unable to join in the fun because you're too worried that they're judging you for not being as funny as them and thinking you're not cool enough to be hanging out with them. You realize that the worrying is only making things worse, but you can't help it because they're crap. 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 Let me do that one again. You realize that the worrying is only making things worse, but you can't help it, and they're gone. Crap. Hold on, Crap. I gotta interrupt this. It, what, what, is this Go a ahead. good one or just. It's, it has five stars. Yeah, but, know, but now with the podcast, you can the hang out with says good funny... stuff about the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a God by God, name. We keep... Here it goes. But now with the podcast, you can hang out with one of the funniest guys around and his funny friends, and you can ride along with them with no pressure to keep up. You can just enjoy when it's over, and you might have a little of momentum of their playfulness and go on with your life a little bit funnier and a little more open to the kid in you. The kid in you. Can I, can I say something? Yes. Can I have a little background music? I've never felt so stupid, but I'm leaving this in because I interrupted. That was the nicest, sweetest compliment. And then I interrupted it. Where's the part where it says something nice about me? And then it did. It just took a little while to get there, and I should have been patient. So as soon as it said that, I felt stupid. Am I making sense? Yes. 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 So we I all feel... you were stupid. Yeah, no, you're no, you're you don't have to sit. Nah, we all thought you were stupid. Uh, Was basically saying that we're like fun to hang out with, and he doesn't have to worry add about to being all this. Yes. A guy who's passionate about like being it. a decent human being, who's not afraid to sometimes be serious or philosophical. I can't think of anything else that's so good for you and so much fun at the same time. It's like if spinach tasted like cookies, like spinach tasted, tasted, tasted like cookies. Tasted like cookies. That's dumb. Let's go to another one. Read another review. Yeah. <laughs> All right, move on. Uh, you don't do that. What was his name? Was Let awesome. me say yeah, this. Sorry, Daniel. Hold on. Just don't sing that. Yeah, you don't sing that. By the way, I'm gonna go back to nice. You might think I'm being a wuss, but uh, that was very. That was that was sweet. That's not, let me ask you, tell me something. I want to give as much time to something like that that when somebody writes something negative and I'll talk about it and talk about it and talk about it. So I, when somebody What's says that, you're like, yeah, that's exactly. That was Daniel Kaufman. That was Daniel yeah. Kaufman. Daniel, may I recommend something? You take you take some spinach, you put it in the frying pan, right? Thank you. And you put a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of garlic, nice. yeah. salt and pepper. Nice. You fry that up. I think oh. you're misunderstanding. And then tell me how that tastes like you're a fucking cookie. <laughs> you try that. You're an idiot. Just make a cookie. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Guys, I really think I understand the joke, and I understand what you're doing, and I know I we should hold on. 
But you got to understand, and I get it, I get it. Like, he's writing the sweetest thing, and you're saying mean things about him. But you have to understand, it's emails like he's that. He's calling you no. stupid. I you just want you to he's, know. He's, he's bullshitting he's you a, with being nice to say, you're so stupid, you think spinach tastes like cookies. It's right. like if spinach tastes like cookies. He thinks you're dumb for that reason. <laughs> Wait a second. You don't read that? We're in a bad play. <laughs> and, uh, okay, okay, can You I didn't understand that in that letter he thinks you're so dumb, you think spinach tastes like cookies, guys. <laughs> oh, oh. Guys, I just want to tell you that Burn. Um, we're we're we have a, we're gonna take a break here. Oh. We have a no. psychic. No. <gasps> a psychic came by, she's oh. gonna read. She can only she have time. She's she. Oh, she. She, but believe me, this woman is 103 years old. When is she coming? <gasps> is she here? She's, she's just she's on her up. way. She just pulls up. She's in the house. Man. All right. Is, is there an, and by the way, what was that guy's name again? <laughs> Daniel. Daniel Kaufman. Hey, look, I'm Daniel Kaufman. By the way, Daniel, I, you know, I was joking. Obviously. Of course you're joking. That's fine. But seriously, though. <laughs> Uh, you should fry up some spinach. It's fucking good. <laughs> yeah, you can you roast, roast it. Also, throw some bacon in there. Bacon bits. Yeah, bacon. Uh, a little bit of olive oil, garlic, bacon bits, spinach. A little pepper. Put a lot in there because it will shrink. It's like, still a not lot. good. How about real bacon? Why is it going to be bacon? Yeah, fuck spinach. Just cook up some bacon and have a good day. Why not just get a pizza from somewhere? Right. Guys. <laughs> guys. Just buy some cookies. Why name? are you fucking with spinach if you like cookies so much? Guys. Daniel Coffin. <laughs> I'm going to still say Daniel Kaufman. That was a nice thing. I don't even think we should read anymore. That's the one-year anniversary. That's How come every... Daniel Kaufman's IP address is the same as yours? Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Did you write that? Uh, yeah, why would yourself? I ever do something like that? Wait a minute. I just rearranged the name of the letters in Daniel Kaufman. It spells Todd Stephen Glass. Maybe I did. Todd! Maybe I did. Why would you do that? I tell you what, because I'm tired of not getting any attention from you guys. Once oh. in a while, it made me feel good if someone told me that my podcast was special. Wait one moment. <whistles> Todd, you made me start doing comedy. I burnt the church down. Wait, okay. wait, 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 yes. wait, hold on, wait, wait what? I burnt the church down. Where did that come from? I, well, I want to start coming clean with my life. Oh, we were just going to say... Oh. I cut your grandmother's brakes. What? Yes. What? <laughs> I cut your grandmother's bread. No, you didn't. Died. I poisoned her. She wouldn't shut up. Did you get my mom pregnant? Yes, only because we didn't want to have a baby out of wedlock. Do we have to keep this? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hold on. We gotta stop. <laughs> hold on. Here's what we gotta do. The truth is, your podcast is great. This podcast is the best. Here's a guy that doesn't know how to be uh, emotional because he always compliments himself. Yeah. The truth is, guys. I mean, if I'm not going to say it on a night like tonight, then when am I going to say it? When am I going to have the courage to look you all in the eye and just say what I think all day long? Don't say it. My podcast is the best because of me. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. What? Todd, Todd, can you do that now for real without the exaggeration for the comedic purpose, right? Like, imagine you're a guy in a movie that's this much of an asshole, but say that for real now. Okay, you ready? Yeah, so like act it out. Do we act, need the music? I get it. Shit yeah. out of this. Yep. Yeah, definitely okay. the music. Bring it. Well, this is different. That music's no. horrible. Yeah. Whoever played it, I want one. fucked. <laughs> Just go back to the music. Fucked? Yeah, I want him fucked. That's their punishment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, guys. As much as I talk every, uh, you know, I, I think Rory knows what I mean. I talk for a living, obviously, but it's this is the hard part. Mm -hmm. This is hard for me. This really is hard for me, but know that I mean it from my heart. It's barely, it's hard enough to look in your eyes, but I'm being genuine with you. To George Carlin, I'm being, I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. It's just not easy for me to say it, but I don't want to be one of those people that just can't tell people shit and say good things. And I'm saying it. So here we go. It's not a big deal. It's just I don't want to keep it in. Mm -hmm. This whole podcast is the best podcast because of me. I really just no. got to really hand it to myself. And I, I wanted you guys to be here to witness it when I handed it to myself. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you know, I almost called you out. Oh. You did say to George Carlin, but then I thought, well, it's oh, yeah. kind of true what you're saying. Well, no, this, no, this no, guy, no. But this guy. Oh, oh, oh I, in that, I, I, you know what? I do not want to break that trust. I, we've had one on one guy thought it was a break of the trust. It wasn't. It really yeah. was the Jonas Brothers. Yeah. One, I did make a mistake. You, you know what? You I, this. You might think I'm pushing it here. Because I, eventually, it only helps me with the audience to have that. This podcast okay. is what it is because of you. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. I did no, that no, as no, a kid. No. Shut up. Don't even talk about this. It's gross. <laughs> Stop it. It makes me look like a fucking crazy mental patient. I was, when I, I'm defending saying George Carlin. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm defending, I got to get this out, uh, to George Carlin because there was truth within that character. I looked at it as a character that was saying to George Carlin because in that bit, he really was saying that. Okay. No, in that bit, that guy, if that guy exists, to George so, Carlin, wait, so man. So in real life, you don't believe that this podcast is what it is only because of you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but I'm not going to say it like a fucking idiot. What do you think? You Nimrods are going to do this without me? What is Nimrods? Or something? Yo, you're a half-baked yeah. sit around all day and you have wife, sex with your wife, Cheryl. <laughs> I know her name's George. Cheryl. All right, let's... Lerita. let's uh, what? Oh, no, 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 come on. No. What did you say, Jordan, 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 get, 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 go, go back, go back, go back to the kitchen. No, no. Jordan, Jordan, where the blanket, where the blanket we need? No, 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 no. Maybe if we lost her, I'm a dragon. Maybe if we let her talk. Oh, Jordan. Come to the room on mic. Oh, Jordan. Okay, talk softly. What? Hi, Jordan. Maybe she just needs a little attention. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm going to tell you something. I love chicken sandwiches, too. You know what? When you say it, a lot of people get a little scared. I like it just as excited as you. So you got another chicken sandwich fan right over here. <laughs> it makes me laugh. <laughs> I think you're funny. I get you. I'm a dragon. You certainly yes. are. You know what? It's okay. So how long have you and... Uh, how long have you and Rory been dating? Uh, chicken? What? Chicken what? Chicken what? Chicken sandwiches. How do you talk? Chicken, All right, let's chicken talk. sandwiches? Chicken sandwiches? <laughs> Rory, stop <gasps> it. Rory. No. Rory, come on. You're acting. <laughs> Rory. Rory. Jordan. 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 Jordan, I meant. Yes. No, Jordan. Rory. No, I'm talking to Rory. Rory, stop her. Jordan. Rory, Rory stop Rory, her. Right. Your, wife's, your wife's chewing on the mic. What am I yeah. What do you want me to do? Well. You want to tell her to not? I have a podcast. She's having fun. <laughs> Come here, give me a kiss, babe. Oh, my God. Oh, you put your fingers in there. Oh, 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 You'll see somebody like super thirsty, right? And they'll run up and they'll go, <laughs> yeah. And then it's dripping down their face. No Not one's that. It. No one's that thirsty. No one's ever been that thirsty. Well, I, I, oh. Wait, what? What are you saying? You listen to the Todd Glass show? Yes. Am I crazy to think that I'm understanding you? I'm not. If, say, am I? Do you listen to the Todd Glass show? Do you listen to the Todd Glass show? Well, I hear you. <laughs> I hear you, you, little motherfucker. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to be nice, but that character is manipulating me. I've been saying blowjob, and I'm going, okay, everything's good. No, it's not. No, it's not good. You're, this mental patient is uh, not meant. It's the cat. Give it as a cat. I believe as a cat. I, I think that whole bit is the cat's fucking with me. Oh, the cat's the mental patient. <laughs> yeah. Listen, let me have a. Let me. Let's. Um, is there another review? That review. Let me tell you something. I'm going to say it again. I've just said it before. I'll say it again, and I'll say it again, and then I'll say it before I say it again. Say it more. Can say it, say it more. Can you say it one more time? I'll say it again. I say it again. That review. I'm not joking. That oh. review is the type of review that makes me uh, happy because. If that means if, 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 you know, right? Eventually there'll be more people like that. I know there are. 
<laughs> I sound like I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people. Is there? Should we read another review? No. Let's. You know. Let's get in bed. Let's. I want to. Here's what I think we should do. We should all blow up all the mattresses. Yes. Let, and then and then do one last good night podcast where we're all laying in different mattresses. Yes. Right. Enjoy. Yeah. And there fuck we go. Lynn, hold on. Cast. Let's do you. Would you hey, like to? Go fuck this pie. I feel like that's not the right way to go. Can I? Can I do a little bit of a? Man, tonight was a lot of fun. All my friends came by. How about if I could sing like this? What if I convinced myself I could sing like this? But you go, well, it's it's not really singing. But I go, yeah, it is. Oh, like can you get the horn? Can you zone. get the horn? <laughs> is that possible? Can you someone get the horn for Lynn in my room? Is that okay? So I go, I go around touring, I got a guitar player, we had so much fun, I go ba 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 do be do ba ba da ba do be do Technically this is entertaining. There's somebody enjoys this. Technically it is. I I Oli Andrew, Andrew couldn't go into a room and find a trumpet. It's little. What's it look like? What's it's it like, look like? It looks like a couple of pennies. Does it, it, it look like a watermelon with duck sauce on it? Hold on. Wait, what? It's what like a macaroni. Touch. What does it look like? Hold on, Paul. Can you pause yeah. it? It's not in Your friend from Israel, honestly, should probably not go on. Hold on, are we still recording? Yeah. Well, what happened was, first of all, we're all saying, Andrew, only Andrew couldn't find a trumpet. Could you turn that air conditioner up a notch to turn it off? Hey, turn it up a notch. So I go, you know, it's fun. You think you're getting up to go in and going, Andrew, it's right there. So when, when I walk in there, there's no trumpet. So I turn to him, I go, those motherfuckers... I was the only one that believed in you, but I was the hardest on him. But I turned completely. Where was hey, where, where are we all going? What's going on, everybody? Well, this air mattress. Oh, is that what we're doing? Do we, yeah. Is there one air mattress for all of us? Okay, so let's take, let's take a break. We're live from Todd Glass's house. And we'll be back with bedtime with the Todd. The place is crewy. Come on, guys. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Let's go blow up the airbag. Hi. Well, guess what? That's where uh, we're going to leave you for today. As you heard, we all started to uh, get get our beds ready. We had literally beds set up all over the living room and dining room. and But for today, that's where we're going to leave you. Then Monday we're gonna have the rest of the the rest of the night, which will be us all laying around in different beds, just talking to each other like when you're little. Somebody's yelling the one bed, then somebody else says something else. And then in the morning we end up waking up the next day and having coffee. And that's that'll be the end of the episode. But for today, that's where we're gonna leave you. Oh, I like that music in the background. So there you go. I like that music. Next time you're here with headphones in your ear, there's a lot of show left. So stay right here. Hey everybody, it's Todd Glass. Oh, by the way, 
Go to my website. You check out my dates. I bet I'm coming to a city near you real soon. And go to TalkDice.com. This is exhausting. Because we've got Todd Glass. We've got Todd Glass. We've got High on the Mic with Reverb Glass. So anytime you're getting low, instead of letting go, sit and let the time pass. Hey, here comes another Todd Glass show. Hey, here comes another Todd Glass show. Hey, here comes another 